What's going on, everyone? Mike Cadillac and Taylor Kyles here for CLNS Media, getting you ready for Patriots 2024 training camp, taking a look at the defensive side of the ball here as the cornerback position really is a mystery outside of Christian Gonzalez. A reminder, we are powered by Game Time. Head over to Game Time and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. So, cornerback, Gonzo, has a great year last year. First four games, wins Defensive Rookie of the Month in September, and then he's out for the season with the shoulder injury. I still think he's going to be looked at as your true number one uh, cornerback on the outside. Taylor, I think you'd agree. What are we looking at outside of Gonzo, and uh, how does the rest of the room shape up? So I feel like the one spot that's kind of locked in is Jonathan Jones. Obviously, okay. super reliable veteran. is shown he has inside and outside versatility. I think he's someone that you can pretty safely say is going to be in the mix. He wasn't in the spring practices, but I think that was more because they wanted to make sure to keep him healthy. Sure. That didn't seem like uh, anything about his role. I think they were just being cautious because I think he also had offseason surgery, I believe. He yeah, like, posted correct. he was recovering on Instagram. Yeah. So taking it easy with him, which you understand. Uh, but outside of that I think the real battle is that third corner spot. Now that could be a slot corner, that could be an outside corner. I think with Jones's flexibility it really is just going to come down to who can actually establish themselves. Definitely. Now Gerard Mayo also mentioned that slot cornerback role was mostly held down by Isaiah Bolden, who did look pretty solid, but even Gerard Mayo acknowledged that he really sees Bolden as more of a perimeter corner, whereas he sees, he said they didn't really have the guys that they expected to be slot corners, and I think you could assume that's Jonathan Jones and Marcus Jones, who also didn't participate really in the spring when it came to defense. Had some, you know, involvement in returns, but you didn't see him on the field for defensive reps. If he emerges and becomes the player that everybody wants him to be, you know, that really electric slot corner, I think I think that's huge for you because I think with his athleticism, I think he's got good toughness and the coverage ability, especially man to man. I think Jonathan Jones and Christian Gonzalez on the outside with Marcus Jones inside is probably your dream rotation. Yeah. But then you also have to think about guys like Alex Austin, who had a really strong end of the season last year, bounced around to different teams, but ultimately, like in that Bills game, I think that's when he really ended up on everyone's radar, yeah. intercepting Josh Allen on a really impressive play. play. Showed awesome. his IQ and his athleticism. He's someone who's been in the mix at that outside corner spot really him and Marco Wilson yep. Marco Wilson also had a really strong end of the seasons particularly against the Jets I'm sure people don't really remember it was hard to see what was going on to be they very honest the Jets? <laughs> yeah. and we were here we could barely see what was going on yeah. uh, but Marco Wilson really tough physical cornerback again a veteran but with Alex Austin that's someone who can maybe factor into your long-term plan right. so I do think that Alex probably has the upper leg when it comes to who's going to win that third cornerback spot because Marcus Jones has a bit on the field he has a lot that he's still got to prove he's been on the roster for a couple years but injuries have really slowed him down at the same time so you don't really know what you're gonna get out of him right now and then even going back to last summer he was really inconsistent played a lot on the outside which he thought was odd so whatever the plan is for him I'll be waiting to see uh, but I think with Alex Sauce and Marco Wilson you know, Marco, I think, would have to really stand out yeah. to beat out somebody like an Alex Austin. Or, you know, if we end up getting out of the summer and it's really a lot of instability at that third cornerback role, maybe we see them hit up the free agent market, bring back a familiar face. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, it's a pretty wide open battle, has some really interesting young talent. But one of these guys has to establish themselves and really prove that they deserve that spot. We'll see what happens with the cornerback position, one of the premier positions on this Patriots defense. Keep it locked in here on Patriots Press Pass on YouTube. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe, and follow all of our written work at clnsmedia.com. Make sure to subscribe to Patriots Press Pass for all your Patriots news and updates on YouTube. And for all our written work, make sure you check out clnsmedia.com.